What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of Business Every Day. My name is Jonathan and today what we're going to be doing is some general maintenance on our X-Carve CNC machine. I have been running this machine for almost two months now without any maintenance except for vacuuming and I wanted to give it a little uh, tune-up and make sure that it is good to go for the next round of carbs and I think there's some yeah just some general things that will make your components last uh, as long as possible as well as keeping things from coming out of alignment so that your carbs turn out as good as possible so let's get to it there are a few things that we will be doing to maintain our x carb machine one we will be cleaning all of the belts all of the pulleys uh, we'll be looking at the gantry, making sure all the particulates and everything is uh, out of there. We're going to be giving everything a good spray down, a good wipe down, a good vacuuming. And then we're going to make sure that our Z-axis is still in uh, the right 90 degree angle alignment. As well as making sure just everything is good and tight on the stepper motors. And everything is clear on the how the the cables and everything is run and just yeah make sure everything is tight square and good to go for the next round of carving Well, the first thing that you saw me do was just give it a general vacuuming. Uh, the next thing I do is I'm going to give it some compressed air and spray everything down before I actually use the like wet wipes and see if I can get as many of these particulates off the X-Carve uh, before I begin wiping it down. Okay, now that the uh, air spraying is done and we got dust everywhere, uh, let's vacuum again and get up all the particulates. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is check all of my belt tightness, so they should sound like a bass guitar. That one sounds pretty decent. That one as well does, and then we got the third one up here, which is probably the tightest out of all of them. Now, something I have noticed is the little uh, slides here, they have come undone, and so I'm going to reset that slide. You know, I actually might tighten this belt just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to now check and make sure that all of the pulley screws uh, that keep the belt tension are nice and tight. So let's now inspect the gantry. So you got uh, two pulleys up here, two up here, or I guess they're not pulleys, they're bearings, and then two up here and two up here. So I've noticed right off the bat that this one down here is loose. And if that one's loose, there's probably going to be another one loose. And what I'm doing is I'm just feeling it, and if I can bobble them back and forth then that is how i am determining whether or not they are loose so it appears that this is the only one that's loose and you can actually see the nut move there a little bit and let's see Oops. this is one of those that i can just rotate the tighten nut and look there you go now that is tight and let me go ahead and tighten up this screw and then hopefully that won't come loose again the next thing I'm going to check is make sure that my Z-axis here in the middle is actually square. The way I do that is I have a big old square and you put it up against it. And as you can see, I am just ever so slightly off. 
And so what is that going to require is I'm going to take this whole Z-axis unit and try and rotate it just a little bit counterclockwise. It's only, it's like a millimeter. Oh, it's so close. But the way I do that is on the back here, there are, uh, here they are, two screws up top and then two screws underneath. And that will allow me to loosen them and then rotate them just a little bit. So let's see how that goes. Right, look at that look at that perfectly square and that's just going to help with shatter so add or not shatter that's going to help with chatter <laughs> um so i don't shatter anything uh but as the bit is uh now perfectly square to my stock material and to the waste board here now um it won't be cockeyed at any uh, point and so i should get a little bit cleaner a cut and this could also be why i was having a little bit of issue um, with inconsistent depths when I was cutting uh, straight through. So that should help. The last thing that I'm going to do is actually use alcohol-free wet wipes. Um, I have no idea if this step is necessary, but what I'm going to be doing is cleaning all the belts. Uh, that's why it needs to be alcohol-free because those are rubber. And getting as much dirt and debris off of the, the little uh, bearings, as well as the gantry itself, the, the whole Makita router, uh, everything. Just get it as clean as possible. The final thing I'm going to do is just dry everything off. Well, there you have it, guys. The X-Carve is now tuned up and ready, hopefully, for many hundreds of more carves. Um, something I didn't do on camera was I rehomed the machine again. Um, and so you do that in programming. I also made sure that the uh, just the full installation of the machine was okay. I do know um, that some of the, the presets were okay and stuff like that because I installed the Z Pro, I installed the dust collection system. Um, along the way and so every time I did that I actually reinstalled the entire machine and went through the process of calibrations of my y-axis my x-axis my z-axis and so I know all of those are solid so if you haven't done those in a while I probably would uninstall and then reinstall your machine just to make sure that you go through the entire recalibration process again uh, to make sure that you get the best results possible Thank you guys for joining in. Hopefully you as well can maintain your machines, don't have any problems or issues, or can assess them and fix them along the way, and that you have many successful cards in your future. Take care.